We continue to discuss ways to increase vertical soft tissue thickness around implants. And another choice besides subcrestal implant placement is flattening of the bone. Of course, first of all, what we need to understand that this method is available only if you have sufficient bone height. It means that you have, uh, how to say, luxury of having a lot of bone. Now you can remove it in order to increase soft tissue thickness. I understand that this sounds a little bit controversial because we need to remove the bone to save the bone. Especially if we would think, uh, have all paradigms in mind, that crestal bone, that uh, cortical bone, is the most important bone to achieve primary implant stability. Now, if you 